So after, uh, so you lived in Houston. Yeah, I lived in Houston for like six years. Like soon as, you graduated high school. soon as I graduated high school, I was I was gone. Like I probably was here like a week. Then I went and did band auditions and got in and stayed in Houston probably like two weeks. Came back. Then summer, like in the summer, you know, band camp started. Right, right, I had to right, go right. back to Houston. So yeah. now I, I know uh, Tyler's hundred thousand people around it. And Houston is the fourth largest city in the in the in the on the nation I mean the country. Right. Um do you have any pros and cons of either? I mean obviously Houston's gonna be a whole another lifestyle, you know what I mean? It's Man, thing. the only thing that I don't miss about the city every like home as far as like everyday life right. is traffic. Like <laughs> Traffic, 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 traffic. Like, I hate it. But, um, ain't nothing like the city. I like Houston. Everybody, Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. Dallas, I right. But, you know what I'm saying? I like Houston. Right, right. I always knew I was going to live in Houston one day. I, I like San Antonio over all the other cities. You know what I mean? San Antonio, Austin, you know, they they going to be com combined pretty soon, you know, because they're growing exponentially. Yeah. Houston, man, I, I don't know. It's the food for me. Yeah. Uh, when I was single, the girls, I felt like the baddest females was in Houston. Right. Uh, my favorite zero, my favorite, my favorite rapper from Missouri City, the most city dime. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? I grew up on school music, but who did Fat Pack, you know? Man, you know what's crazy? I lived there, man, and met, I got, had a lot of networking going on. Right, right, right. And he was one of my favorite rappers, and he like the only rapper, you know what I'm saying, that was that we know growing up, SUC, et cetera, mm -hmm. that I haven't met. I didn't met everybody else, right, right, right. <laughs> but I haven't met him yet. Right, yeah, and yeah. I, and I, um, shout out to my partners in Houston. Um, they do like a bunch of graphic work, uh, cartoon, uh, Twin Network, you know what I'm saying? Like a bunch of cartoon right, work right, right. and like, um, you know, graphics and whatever. And I went to their house one day and they, they from Mo City. Okay. And they was like, bro, you just missed zero. And I, I, I almost wanted to cry. I was like, man, and I, I, come I met him on. in Grand Prairie. Got to meet him, got to talk to him, you know. And, and it was like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm 34, man. I was like 13 when I started listening to him, you know what yeah. I mean? The culture down there, did it influence you to what you're doing currently? Uh, did it rub off on you? Or? I want to say it. I, no, nah, because like I say, man, since a youngster, like, you can ask my mama, man, like, you know, some some kids was asking for different toys and stuff like that. Man, when I made good grades and was on, on the road, mama, can you buy me this magazine? Right. I used to like magazines because it showed what I wanted, you know what I'm saying, as far as, you know, Cars, rappers, yeah, right, right, and different right, right. stuff. I take them, take it out, put it on my wall, you stuff like that. So I, I already, I always had this, like, ever since I could talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I moved there, I wouldn't say it influenced because it was already there. Right, right. But it, it, it made it fall into place to where I could. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you had the more networking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It made it fall in place to where I could, like where I, you know, ran into it to one of my crowd brothers. Shout out to Cam. If it wasn't for Cam, I would not be shooting. Shout out to Cam, man. And you know, I ran into him, and his godmom was like, she has her own production company, okay. and she went to TSU, you know, and she has a, a studio right in the neighborhood. If if you don't know, TSU is surrounded by neighborhood. Right, right, right. Um, and so. My so boy, third, third one? yeah, yeah, yeah. So my boy had heart surgery once upon a time, you know what I'm saying? So after that, he really wasn't in band anymore like that, but he was just shooting because, you know, he was right, right. her and stuff like that. So being, you know, that's my partner. I'm still going to be around him. And he was just like, bro, you'll be good at this because I would just go with him, you know, just to help. And then uh, I think his birthday came around. He got a new camera. Um, and he had just bought one. He spoiled Loki, and he was like, "Bro, buy this camera for me. I'ma sell it to you for cheap. Whenever you get your refund, just give me the money." So I bought, I paid for my what, first what camera. What kind of camera was it? Man, it wasn't. Even, it was. It was an overseas version camera. It was like a Canon 650D, I think. I think that's what it was. I paid like 700 for it. Okay. And so, yeah, that's how that's how that ended up. You know what I'm saying? Falling into place. Gotcha. Hey, man. Go. Make sure y'all go follow my boy, man. Los at Auto Nation.
Nation, man. If you need an interview, hit them up.